Hey what is going on guys, it is SuperbTube here and welcome to my first video. In today's video guys, I'm going to be going over the three main glitches in Fallout 4 that you can do right now to make sure that you can get infinite XP, infinite caps and infinite resources. These glitches are absolutely insane guys because altogether it makes you a complete god. You can get any perk you want, any item at all, literally any weapon, any piece of armour and also you can build whatever you want in your settlements without worrying about materials. Before we get into the video guys, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. We are trying to hit 100 subscribers as fast as possible so if you really could help me out with that, that would be very much appreciated. But anyway, let's get into the video. So guys, the first glitch we are going to be going over is the infinite resources glitch. So guys, the infinite resources glitch allows you to get infinite resources basically, pretty self explanatory, you can get literally any item you want and any amount of it. Well, let me rephrase. You need to have one of an item, that's it. You just need one of any item you want to duplicate, that is it, just one, one tiny wine piece. So in this glitch, we're gonna be using acid for some reason because I want a lot of acid and that's the only thing I could really think of. So just go to any one of your settlements and go into the workshop, make sure you empty all of your junk out of your inventory uh, and then just choose whatever item you want to duplicate. Once you've done that, make sure you bring it into your inventory, go to the junk section and drop it on the floor. Now because I only have two of this item, it's going to come out as two separate bits, but once you have six of an item, you can clump it all together so it only appears as one item on the floor and the glitch is much easier. So what you want to do, you want to go into workshop mode so that you can store it or you can discard it, and you want to be doing both. Now what I mean by that is, uh, if you have an Xbox controller, I'm going to say the Xbox controller names, and then I'm going to say the PS4 controller names because it's the buttons are different. So if you have an Xbox controller, what you want to do is hover over the item of your choice and tap X and immediately afterwards, like literally milliseconds afterwards, you want to hold in B. Now what this will do guys is it will bring up a menu that says, would you like to scrap the item and also would you like to store it? So you want to tap X and then hold in B, but keep holding B. Do not let go of B, otherwise uh, the menu will disappear and the glitch won't work. So make sure hover over an item, tap X, hold in B, and what this will do guys, it will allow you to scrap it and also store the item. And this is basically the entire glitch. All you want to do is do this on different pieces uh, of whatever item you're trying to duplicate over and over and over again, and in no time you will have absolutely loads of them. For PS4 guys, sorry, it is tap square and then hold in circle and Th th that's it. If you're having trouble with the glitch, trust me, trust me, it isn't patched. I literally did it two seconds ago. I do it all the time. These glitches will not get patched, so don't worry about that. If you are having trouble, I assure you it is just you. So please comment down below if you are having any trouble, and I will make sure to tell you. I'll also have a text tutorial in the description if you're not quite getting what I'm saying. But yeah, that is the item duplication glitch. Now moving on guys, we want to go over to the second glitch and the second glitch is going to be the infinite caps glitch. Now this utilizes what we've learned in the previous glitch. It's really easy to do this, but you are going to have to have a few prerequisites before we can get into it. So you are going to need to be at least level 14 and have the second rank in local leader. That is all you're going to need to start it off if you want to make a little bit of money quite slowly, but if you want to make loads of money really really quickly you are going to need to be level 20 and have the second rank in local, local leader and have the second rank in cap collector what this will do guys is it will allow you to make stores in your settlements and once you've made a store you can simply use what we just learned in the previous glitch tap x and hold in b or tap square and hold in circle and you can make infinite caps it's super duper easy so if you aren't quite level 20 uh, and you don't have the cap collector rank 2 you can use the uh, lower end of the stores like the early trading one and you can put that down and you can duplicate that a lot but if you have the second cap collector make sure you use uh, the armor the highest armor shop that will get you uh, it will cost you 3,000 caps to make so do keep in mind you have to have uh, at least 300 caps for the lowest store and a maximum of 3,000 for the highest store but it's a one-time spending thing and you'll make infinite money off it. Literally all you have to do is place it down, uh, scrap it and you'll get 1500 caps and also store it and that means you can just continuously do this over and over and over again and I did this again for about two minutes and I got 30 thousand caps it's that easy even if you're doing it with the lowest end store if you do it 10 times uh, that's going to get you 1500 caps and if you keep going a bit more that's going to get you absolutely loads of caps it's super duper duper easy uh, and incredibly quick and you can get loads of money 
But make sure guys, once you've duplicated the store a few times, in your workshop it will say that you have all of these caps here, but in your inventory you will not have them. So make sure you go over to the workbench at your settlement, uh, press X on it, and then go in and then take the caps out. So make sure you do that, otherwise you won't get any of the caps. So guys, the final glitch is the XP glitch, and this is the longest glitch out of them all. But then again, it is super duper easy once you've set it all up. So make sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, because all these glitches are super duper easy, and I found them all for you. Well, I didn't really, but yeah. Make sure to like. But anyway, let's get into this glitch. So what you want to do is head over to Sorgus Ironworks. Sorgus Ironworks is a bit of a difficult area if you are a new player. So if you are new, you know, go with caution, turn the difficulty down, get some better weapons. I don't know, but you are going to have to kill people in order to get to the end to get this reward. So what you want to do is make your way through Sorgus Ironworks, and normally at the end there is Slag, but I have killed him in my game, so there was the very creatively named Forge Leader there instead. So what you want to do is kill everyone there, and once you get to the end, if you go up on the platform where Slag normally is, you will find the Picket Fences magazine. Now this magazine will allow you to build statues in your settlements, and statues, if you didn't know, get you a massive amount of XP every time you place them. So, what you want to do is, once you've got that, you want to head out and you want to go to a settlement that you will never use, really. Well, you can use it still, but just a small settlement that will take like two seconds to fill up with building items. Uh, just go to any of them, really. I'm going to go to Oberland Station because it's really small. So, once you're there, all you want to do is make sure that you have one piece of copper, at least. You can have 20 pieces of copper, it's going to make the duplicating uh, much easier, but just make sure you have one piece of copper. There's copper pretty much everywhere, so you shouldn't be uh, short of it, but just make sure you find one piece of copper. So once you've got one piece of copper, literally all you want to do is do the duplication glitch with the copper, and again, it'll take you no time to get a few thousand copper. Literally just spam out a few times. Uh, Overland Station is pretty difficult because they kept sliding down because it's sort of on a hill, so I had to place down uh, a podium for it. But it is really easy to do. Just make sure you get a few thousand copper, and once you've done that, you want to go to the decoration section, then to the statue section, and as you can see, you have some statues to build. So what you want to do is just build like the little statues, I think it's much easier. Just make sure you fill up your entire settlement so that you can't place anything else with statues. Now, when you place them down, obviously you get a lot of XP, but what a lot of people tell you in these videos is that you should then scrap them all and then place them all down again, but there is a much easier way of doing this. All you want to do is fill up the entire settlement, and then once you've done that, scrap one statue, and then spam X and A, or on PS4 it's going to be square and X. Just spam those two with like one thumb, and literally you will get so much XP, because you'll place down the statue, then you'll scrap the statue, then you'll place down the statue, then you'll scrap the statue, and it'll happen over and over and over again, and I am level 80 in this game, and I got an insane amount of XP. It literally takes no time at all to level up. If you sit there for about, I don't know, half an hour or so doing that, you can level up like crazy. One of my friends actually got up to level 5,000 doing this. 5,000. What, what a waste of time, really. But, yeah, it is a lot of fun to do this because that means you'll basically be invincible. If that's what you like in the game, you won't be able to die because you can get literally every single perk. Um, and you'll have infinite money and you'll have infinite resources. So yeah, that is the end of this video That is all three main glitches if you do have any problems I assure you none of them are patched simply comment down below and I'll make sure to help you remember There's always a text tutorial in the description So make sure to check that out if you are having trouble understanding what I'm saying But yeah, that is the end of the video guys Thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel We are trying to hit 100 subscribers So please join me in the movement to get to 100 subscribers, that sounds really cringy, but whatever. Anyway, see you guys in the next video, in a bit.